장악할 수 있을까? 장악할 수 있을까? 
So yeah, I'm just going to finish everything that I have to do in terms of work like <laughs> editing, making translations, uploading everything and then I'll come back Oh, staying in front of the screen Just for like an hour, my eyes hurt So I thought I'd have some dessert this is the croffle, leftover croffle from yesterday. Croffle means croissant and waffle. It's a very famous and trendy dessert in Korea. I just sprinkle some cinnamon and let me drizzle some my favorite maple wow. syrup. High protein soy milk on my side. It also doesn't have sugar, so it's my favorite. I can't believe it's totally dark outside I feel like I woke up I had one meeting I had lunch and it got so dark Live healthily, you know like Wake up early, face the sun Back to work Please excuse the look I have in the entire world, okay? This week is the week I finally got better I recovered from my sickness and even if you woke up so late, so you may feel guilty for like being so unproductive like you just woke up after like eating, it's already nighttime and you know, you feel bad for yourself so if you want to feel less bad for yourself in those days, work out and I'm going to show you the workout that I've been doing at home these days when working out, it's important to dress yourself in a way that you would want to work out and this is basically, obviously it's like pajamas so I'm gonna switch into my yoga outfit okay that was just some tiktok stuff that i wanted to try out on youtube because this is youtube making the adobo fried noodles it's a recipe so far that I haven't seen anywhere I invented <laughs> so you have to see it yourself and cook it for yourself at home because it's so 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 good I'm going to be using the noodle from the Nongshim Shinlamyeon packet if you have a leftover adobo at home in the fridge, you can definitely use that but with this recipe, I am making the adobo from scratch since it's for noodles, you know, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take so long it shouldn't take like one hour to make the dish so it's a kind of simplified adobo recipe Oh my god, this is not deja vu guys I then chopped garlic and then this is actually samgyeopsal but I'm chopping it into like, oh into small pieces like this so it's easy to eat along with the noodles saute it very well and then add bay leaves and then black pepper it looks so good on its own already and then you add some soy sauce and then let me add some water as well add some sugar as well not much last but not least add the key ingredient in adobo vinegar and we're gonna simmer this until the sauce gets more saucy now that our water is boiling i'm going to add the noodles from the nongshim packet grab the shin ramen packet and add like one third of the packet here that's enough so we're gonna add in half-cooked noodles in our adobo sauce Oh my god, it looks so good already You mix the noodles with the sauce until it kind of looks like a fried noodle Okay, now that we barely see the sauce, we can turn off the heat Oh my god, oh my god This is how we eat side dishes guys You cook a lot of it and then you add whenever you eat your meal That's a Korean, authentic Korean style side dish mm. <gasps> Go 
to the nearest Korean grocery store right now. Purchase the Nongshim Shin Ramen noodles. Make this for yourself because this is amazing. Seriously guys, after making this recipe, I was like, oh my god, why is there no instant noodles in the Philippines? Adobo fried noodles. I've tried this before with kimchi. It's literally the best. Honestly though, I really want kimchi right now. <laughs> at a small apartment in the middle of Seoul is hard because this is how you have to water them. <sighs> I've been crocheting nowadays, guys. I wanted to make a beanie out of it. It's 2 a.m. Today's vlog indeed is a good example of wake up early. You wake up late, you become me. I still want to do a bit more of this because this really kind of is like meditation for me. It really calms me. My friend Leah actually gave me this thread for me and it's actually really pretty. I love this like hint of blue and red and there are some yellow as well. What do you guys usually do before going to bed? To be honest, I really don't know if I'm ever going to wear this beanie once I finish this because I'll be, you know, I'm almost done. I just have to do like maybe two more. Yeah, this is how the beanie is going to look like. I actually started this one first to make a scarf. Although this may be a very silly rationalization, since the new year is coming, you know, I can't believe it's already December. Maybe we can all take the time to kind of think about what we can do for the next year, you know, what we want to change. Although that may only last for like the first few months of 2022. But you know, it's worth a try. That still makes a difference, I think. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much guys for watching today's vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one.